Um, I've been working on a multitude of projects. I grew up in the Fargo Moorhead area, and so I was um, I was always had a lot of opportunities. My, my high school activities um, were a lot of. Uh, community projects that were with a lot of other students. So I worked on Fill the Dome for two years and I um, helped start Fargo Youth Initiative, the first um, city commission of youth um, with Commissioner Sobolik and my senior year of high school and that's still going on. They're, they're doing fun things now um, even though I've kind of transitioned out. And then um, I helped organize the Youth Summit, um, a day-long conference for high school students in the area. I went to college in New Hampshire and I'm currently in my second year out there. And I came back last summer and was able to work with the city of Fargo. And I was an intern in the community development department. So I was working on a bunch of different projects within the city, um, public art, and I was also trying to really kick our youth initiative um, off the ground Missy because she approached me. And um, we had, she had been working on a youth commission in previous years. And so we were looking to create a youth commission that wasn't, uh, previous years, there were a lot of adults in the room. And she was looking for a commission that, you know, the rules were made by adults, the rules were made by the students that were going to be the commission. So that very initial year, we had a group of 10 students and a group of maybe five adults, um, kind of rotating students and adults, who designed the bylaws, who said, this is what we want this group to look like. And so you're saying, as a commissioner, that you want to hear our voice and that you value it and here's how we feel comfortable sharing it here's how we want this to look and so um, they were throwing out a lot of ideas about projects they were throwing out a lot of ideas about um, how they wanted to go to commission meetings how they wanted to sit in the room where decisions were being made and understand all of all of the reasons why these decisions were being made and so um, so this year kind of some new things that they brought in were um, that we discussed a lot over the summer, um, how we were going to really, really expand what we were doing. And so, um, and make it really meaningful for the adults who were asking, because, um, you know, although I do not believe that they should ever be stopped being asked at any point, but sometimes, you know, if they're asked and you don't find that the input was very helpful, that then they may not ask again. But what I, what, we're, what we were asking for all summer was just keep trying to ask, just keep asking, because we're not here to promise that what we're gonna say is something you like or something you want, but please keep asking. I mean, you know, there are 20% of the population in the Fargo-Moorhead metro area is under the age of 18. And so that's a significant population, and you think, you know, how, what percentage of the population is over the age of 65, and what voice are they getting? What's the voice that 30 to 50 year olds are getting? And, you know, they matter. And so students matter just as much. It's just a different number that's in the place. I, we want to be heard, and we're an important voice because we provide different perspectives. You know, kids are the ones who ask us a question, and we don't feel limited by anything when we answer it. And so I think that's just a really powerful perspective to have in any conversation. And if you bring a student in the room, even if you bring a child in the room, that um, it's a different energy that they bring. And so, um, a valuable energy. We're trying to figure out how police can better interact with young people if young people are scared of them. And, and so, hosting a panel, and then the students go out and they talk to their friends, they talk to other people in their school, they talk to people who they never really even talk to. And they say, okay, why are you afraid of the police if you are? What is your image of the police? And they bring this back to, um, to the police department and, and give that feedback so that they understand what students are thinking. Because sometimes when someone from the police department goes out and asks students directly and tries to take surveys, you know, if they're interested in that, and it's time consuming, but it's also just, students may not be as honest. I mean, you're always gonna be more honest with your friends. And um, and so that's sort of the, mi the mindset of that group. Students who have previously been a part of our youth initiative and are still now in the schools, but are not on the board anymore, um, you know, they're still talking about it. They're saying, yeah, you know, I think FYI is doing something and maybe you want to talk to that particular student. And um, so kind of learning how to just communicate with their peers to listen to other voices, I think has been one of the, one of the biggest things that like, I'm so happy they're learning. Um, because if they're really trying hard to listen to other students' voices, 
they'll be trying hard to listen to other people's voices for the rest of their lives. And I think that's a very, very important lesson um, for, for people to know, for people to understand how to, how to realize that their voice isn't the only voice and that they have to represent other people's voices just because they should. I have found that the Fargo of Moorhead community has been immensely welcoming to me as a student and I know that my experiences weren't unique but I also know that some people didn't experience that as well and and that you know to walk into a room and think wow I'm young but these people asked me to be here that was something that I was able to experience but that wasn't every student in the Fargo Moorhead area but it should be. I hope I really dream that students grow up and they, they recognize that they're an important part of wherever they are and whatever they are a part of, that they're important. And that, you know, not in a, you're special, but everyone can be special. And that um, you, get, you have to bring other people with you because to recognize what they've been given in this community and work to give that to other people, whether it's in this community or a different community that they go to. Um, but that, that sense of giving because I was given a lot by this community and so I want to give a lot to this community and um, I hope students who feel that Fargo Moorhead area has given them something, I hope they try and give that forward. Fargo Moorhead, lend an ear, give a smile, and be a friend to young people. Not just a young person, but to young people as a whole. That when you see a young person and you don't know them, that you that you think about them for their potential, that you think about them for what they could provide, what they are providing, and that you really try to incorporate their voice, that you ask them what they're thinking, that you ask them what you can do to make things better, that you ask them for their help on the projects that you're working on, because we have a lot of value to add and we do want to help and sometimes we just need you to ask.